Earlier today, Elon Musk held an impromptu press conference at Gigafactory Berlin, there at the site where they're building the Gigafactory, and he said some things about the Model Y and the Model Y that will be manufactured in Germany there, and I want to talk about those things. In Elon Musk's own words, he called it a radical redesign of the core technology of building a car. Stick around and we'll talk all about this. Before we get into today's video about the Model Y redesign, I'd like to take a moment to thank the Patreon supporters which support me every month. A special thank you goes out to my performance supporters, Bradford Ferguson of Halter Ferguson Financial, John Money, and Inku Kang, and also the rest of my Patreon supporters which support me every month and help me bring this content to you. It's with the help of these Patreon supporters that I'm able to make this content. If you'd like to find out more about the Patreon community that I've set up, you can find a link in the description below. Tobias Lind has been doing a lot of drone footage and he has been posting that on his YouTube channel of the Berlin Gigafactory and the progress as that's being built. He also recently attended an impromptu press conference that Elon Musk held at the site of the Berlin Gigafactory. And he has recorded that conference and put that on YouTube for you to watch. I'll put a link down in the description below and I definitely recommend you listen to this press conference. One of the big topics that Elon Musk talked about was the radical new redesigning of the manufacturing processes for the Model Y that will be built in Berlin, Germany. Tesla Roddy put out this article summarizing what Elon Musk talked about in this press conference and here is what Elon Musk had to say about the Model Y. Like I was saying, you know, we build the factory and then also there's a bunch of innovative stuff that we will be doing here that we will tell you about in the future. It's not just a copy of the Model Y, it's actually a radical redesign of the core technology of building a car. And some of this, when I do battery day in September, I'll be talking about what we are going to be doing here in Berlin but it'll be the first time there's going to be a transformation in the core structural design of the vehicle. It's quite, quite a big thing. So what does Elon Musk mean when he refers to a radical redesign of the core technology of building a car? Of course, there's a lot we don't know about and we'll learn about that at battery day, but Elon Musk has dropped a lot of hints lately and a lot of these came in conference calls and I want to cover some of the hints and also some of the tweets that Elon Musk has put out that point to some of these innovations that Tesla will be making at Gigafactory Berlin. Here's Elon Musk talking about Gigafactory Berlin on the Q2 2020 conference call. We're, we're getting way better at making cars. You can see that in Giga Shanghai. And you'll see that even more with, uh, with Berlin. Um, and, and we're really changing the design of the car in order to make it more manufacturable. The, the fundamental architecture of, of Model Y will be different in Berlin. It, it may look the same, but it, the internals will be quite different and fundamentally more efficient uh, architecturally than, than what we've done to date. So as Elon Musk mentioned, the Model Y that comes out of Gigafactory Berlin will look the same from the outside, but the internals will be a lot different. Elon Musk talked a little bit about the internals in the Q1 2020 conference call, and here's that clip. For Model Y, we, we introduced a revolutionary two-piece rear underbody casting um, that uh, we're um, going to be making a single-piece casting uh, later this year. Uh, meaning that essentially the rear third of the body is cast as a single piece, which is no, no casting of, of the size or complexity has ever been done before. Um, in fact, there isn't even anything that is on, on par with the two-piece casting for the Model Y. So we're really pushing the envelope on vehicle structural engineering and manufacturing. I'm very excited about this, this approach as it allows us to reduce the, the weight, the cost, um, and, and improve uh, uh, NVH. It's better in every way, essentially. The Model Y that is coming out of Tesla's factory in Fremont, California, does have one step towards its innovation, but Tesla is quickly moving towards a single piece underbody casting. In the Third Row podcast interview of Elon Musk earlier this year, Elon Musk also said some things, including this 
quote, the current version of the Model Y has basically two big high pressure die cast aluminum castings that are joined and there's still a bunch of other bits that are attached. Later this year, we'll transition to the rear underbody being a single piece casting that also integrates the rear crash rails. Sandy Monroe of Monroe & Associates and also MonroeLive.com and his YouTube channel Monroe Live, he had this to say about the Model Y underbody casting. Quote, the single piece casting for the Model Y will replace around 70 stampings, extrusions, and castings that currently make up the same fabricated assembly in the Model 3, on which much of the Model Y is based. Must describe the Model 3's rear structure as a patchwork quilt. So here on the left is the Model 3 rear underbody versus the picture on the right which is the current Model Y underbody. You can see there what Sunny Monroe was talking about, how they have turned 70 parts into that rear body casting shown on the right. However, Elon Musk wants to take this even a step further and integrate more of these pieces into this single casting. So based on all this information, we do know that Tesla will incorporate this one piece casting for the underbody for the Gigafactory in Berlin. And when they build the Model Y, they plan to start with that structure and design. Elon Musk also gave us a hint about the paint shop in the Berlin Gigafactory when he tweeted this out, quote, Giga Berlin will have the world's most advanced paint shop with more layers of stunning colors that subtly change with curvature. On top of the Model Y having that single piece underbody casting and also having state of the art paint, Elon Musk also said via this tweet that it would also be a revolution in automotive body engineering. That is what we know so far, and based on even just this limited information, it already looks really exciting, and I'm excited about the Model Y that will come out of Gigafactory Berlin. Now the question is, why is a redesign needed for the Model Y? Of course, this is a brand new vehicle that Tesla just started manufacturing, and Tesla is already changing it? As I've talked about in previous videos, Elon Musk's goal for Tesla and the Model Y, and all their vehicles really, is to make them more affordable, so they can further increase the rate of sustainable transportation. Elon Musk has stated in the past that Tesla's cars are too expensive. And although batteries are a big part of this, and that's something that we'll hear about at Battery Day, the cost of batteries, beyond that, the manufacturing costs of the vehicles also play a big part. All of these structural redesigns are so the Model Y and their other vehicles can be manufactured at a lower price, and thus more people can afford them. So in conclusion, Tesla is truly upping their game when it comes to the manufacturing in Gigafactory Berlin. I believe that the vehicles coming out of Berlin, Germany will have really good fit and finish, and also the cost will be super competitive as they continue to lower manufacturing cost. The made in Germany Model Y, I believe, will sell very well in Germany and other parts of Europe, and I believe that Tesla is really on the verge of something great. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, please consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking that like button so other people can find the video as well. Thank you so much.